It feels great to launch a drive over 300 yards or nestle an iron shot next to the pin on a well-guarded green, but the real secret to shooting low scores in PGA Tour 2K23 is the short game. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my short game secrets that you need to know. As a player on the TGC Tours Professional Leagues with a world ranking of inside the top 350, what makes me the right person to help you get better at PGA Tour 2K23 is that I'm not the best. I am just like you, but with how I've set up my player and the secrets of the short game that I've learned, I'm able to compete at the highest level. And so can you. Look, we all know that holding out from off the green can turn a bad hole into a very good one. But it's not the first thing you should be trying to do. Around the green, my main aim is to get up and down every single time. And I do this by hitting to a zone around the pin where I know I can make the putt. There is one thing that is critical when trying to do this. Look at these two chips here. The big difference between the two is the rollout. The one on the right stops quicker, reducing the impact that break on the green has. This makes the outcome more predictable, which is what I am looking for and trust me, so do you. To get this result, I put backspin on the shot and quite often loft as well. This makes the ball grab when it lands, resulting in the ball settling quickly by or even in the hole. Clearly setting the right aim point for your chip is also critical. There are a few things that you need to know to get this right. If you are playing in TGC Tours events, which you really should be for the reasons I set out in this video here, you'll be playing without the distance meter and relying on control of vibration for judging the power of a shot. I would suggest that you take a little bit off the shot because of this. The time between feeling the vibration and starting the downswing even though it's very short, typically results in a slight overpower of the shot, maybe of only 1 or 2%, so you need to allow for this with your distance control. Before we go on to the second important point about where to aim, I need to talk about bunker shots because these first two points are even more important for them. Let's look at a typical bunker shot. The default aiming is, well, ridiculous. But with the lie range of 70 to 77%, you would think that this would offset this. But what actually happens in practice? The first thing to note is that the ball lands closer to the pin than we would have expected. The other thing is the rollout, which goes on forever. We need it to stop quicker if we are going to control where the ball ends up. So what I do on every bunker shot is apply nearly maximum backspin, and I bring the aim point just a little bit closer to me. This last bit will depend on how how accurate you are with the power. As you can see, the ball stops much quicker and ends up in easy part territory. One final thing to bear in mind with bunker shots is the elevation to the pin. Up to four or five feet and you won't notice much difference. But when the green is significantly above you, say nine feet or more, you won't need to take as much off the aim point as the elevation will reduce how far the ball carries. The final thing to look at when you're standing over a chip or a bunker shot is the area where you're looking to land the ball and the slope of the green after that. When the ball lands on the green, it will take one bounce before it starts to to roll like a pup. If you're landing onto any sort of slope, the bounce will react to it and sometimes quite significantly, irrespective of the ball flight prior to that. So do allow for this when setting your aim point. Once the ball is on the green and rolling, it will react like a pup, taking any break as normal. The first step to a great short game though starts before you even get to the green. Short siding yourself is a cardinal sin. If you're playing TGC Tours, then expect fast, firm greens. It is always better to leave yourself a 20 foot uphill putt or chip and a downhill chip out of the rough with the sort of greens you'll be playing on. There is a lot to unpack in this video, so much so that I've decided to cover putting in a separate video. Look out for it soon and while you're waiting, check out this video for the best build for PGA Tour 2K23.